All right, good morning everybody. It is a beautiful day in San Diego. It is not raining, it's not cold, it's a bit warm, but I am sick, so sorry if I like sniff a lot because I was sick yesterday and my voice too. And I'm using a different mic, my third mic. Um, but I just came from Honda. I picked up, well, this is not from Honda. Oh, super, super bright, bro. This is from Home Depot, just to uh, bleed the brakes uh, on the rears. And the fronts, I have extra tubing over there because I am bleeding brakes by myself. And I picked up the caliper brackets for the e-brake cable. So thank you to one of you guys that told me that I was missing the bracket. I picked it up. Yeah, so now I just have to install all of this and everything in there. First thing I need to do is, of course, take off my rear drums. And that shouldn't be too hard. Um, of course, take off the wheel. And then uh, before you take off the actual drum or the cover, yeah, take this cap off that's covering the, what is it, the axle nut? Not the axle, the hub. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, I got the car up on jack. Well, a jack and a jack stand. Then what you want to do is grab a hammer and a flathead like this, and then your hammer the cap off. And after that, you can take off the whole assembly and remove the everything else. And I'm going, going to be showing you guys how to do one side because it's pretty much the same with the other side. Other side, I'm gonna time lapse it. After that, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the brake lines in the front, or well, here too. And then show you guys how to bleed by yourself, like you don't need a partner to step on the brakes for you. Yep, let's get started. Because I keep going around it. go now you just have to knock that out and then take off the nut I think it's a 32 like the front once you break this loose then you can drop you break down and take off the uh, drum cap or whatever it's called now drop the break down and then you have to Move the cap like that. And be careful all the brake dust. This shit does stay in the floor. All right, so what you can do now is just take this off. Ah, damn it. Oh, damn, she's still on there, hold on. Gotta use the brake ball. I already sell one half wrench, but too lazy to get one. And keep this, you are reusing the wheel hub because you need to. Now what you can always do is check your bearings and see if it's still good. You gotta take off the wheel cylinder, the pads, and that's it. And then you gotta take off the springs and be careful when you take out these springs, these suppliers, because these do fucking fly. I've, it happened to me before. I have to remove everything right behind here on the line. I don't know if you guys can see. You want to use a flare nut wrench to get onto here, which is this nut or this wrench right here. Take off the line and then have a pin ready so all the brake holes will drain. Normally I would pinch the line, but there's no point because I am replacing the lines. There we go. Make sure you pinch off the e-brake cable so it costs it. Alright. And there's the whole drum assembly. The e-brake cable, we're gonna do that later. Damn, I hate how, how they don't label what direction is what. I just wanna make sure these are fucking right. Fuse right, it fits better when compared to doing the other side or the other way. Let's see. Yeah, the field loose. Alright, before I do that, I'm gonna take up the brake lines. This whole cable right here. Alright, so with the brake line, 
Taking this off on the caliper. And the end of this should go right there. Just like that. But first I'm gonna take off this portion and the whole line from here. Now to remove the rubber line, you wanna loosen up this 10 mil. And then this clip right here, you have to just pry it off. It'll come off eventually, just make this loose and then, oh, pretty much pull off. All right, so bike line out. A tip for removing these clips is grabbing pliers like this. Use the uh, bike as a leverage and you just, you just pull. You slowly like reach on and pull and pull. Yeah, there we go. It's hard doing it by just holding it like that. Now, so I remove these clips, but we don't need that anymore because we're only using the one up top. Uh, this brake line, I guess, because it's chill in there. And we're just gonna test it by putting on, putting the wheel hub back on before I bolt anything down. So I'm Oh, wheel hub's in. Oh my god, you guys hear that fucking dog? These dogs on the street. It's all trial and error right now because they don't give you instructions. They have long bolts and they have short bolts. Sorry if this video isn't really like good explanation. I'm so focused on trying to get, get like correct. Okay, so all right, time to test again. Oh, trial and error. I'll get back to you guys once I figure out what's the right way. All right, after some time, I figured it out. So the grooves, or how the side goes in, goes on the right side. The other side goes on the left side. There's two short bolts that go here, two of the long bolts go here, and then the caliper goes on right here, and then the long bolts go behind it to hold the caliper in, and put the um, wheel hub in, and the caliper should go on. Oh my god. All right, time to put everything back in. Oh yeah, as I'm doing this, I've been playing Xbox One with, with uh, you subscribers. It's pretty fun, so thanks for playing with me. Uh, mainly Forza Horizon 3, but uh, try and get towards like Battlefield 1. If you guys don't uh, have my Xbox, just add me, uh, Law Tommy Law. Same thing as my YouTube and Instagram, so. Looks like I don't have the boat for this. I only have one. So I need to make a run to Home Depot. But for now, I'm just gonna put everything back in and then do the e brake cables last. So sad. Alright, I cleaned up a bit. And this is nice because you need two bolts here, but um, since the drum conversion or whatever it doesn't have it, but I need to go Home Depot by these two bolts I go for the brake cable but overall everything's on the stainless steel brake lines are on and they're right there uh, yeah I need to go home depot though but overall I think this video is a mess there's so much in this is holding the brake line for now without uh, for it doesn't hit my strut and I'm gonna put the wheel back on the head of home depot to pick up two bolts for the bracket and then I'll put everything back in afterwards in the bleed brakes, and it'll be good. 
All right, I'm back home. I came from Home Depot. Just bought these four screws for this bracket. And then have the car jacked up in all four. Gotta finish doing the other side, but first I need to put the e-brake cable on this side. And that revolves me going under the car, taking out the brackets. I'm gonna take out the center console. And yeah, so far, that's what it looks like. They are pretty fucking small. But, I mean, it looks better than drums, I guess. But, yep, gotta take out the e-brake underneath. All right, so I finished putting the e-brake cable in. That was so hard, but the brake cable goes all the way down there. Go through that, all the way underneath the car. Do this. Right here. Um, just had to do the other side. I'm gonna connect it on and adjust the e-brake afterwards. But overall, that shit was hard. Okay. Yeah, so got the other side now. I'm already tired. Alright, on to the other side. All right, I say I say roughly three four days later after I did the rear um, for disc conversion, uh, I didn't get to film me bleeding the brakes or putting in all the four lines, including well in the fronts and stuff, because it got really really dark. It was like I think seven or eight o'clock. Um, had to run errands and then didn't have time to. Oh, well, I was too focused on bleeding the brakes and everything, so I didn't record. But everything is in on the car. There we go, they're in, and uh, for those of you that wonder if I was running the 4040 prop valve, I already am. The reason is is because I bought a, I bought at least two, I bought two sets of rear trailing for my car, and um, I was going to do the rear disc conversion a long time ago, but then I already had the prop valve, so I put in the prop valve, and it never ended up doing the um, full trailing arms or whatever until this with the brackets and they stop i do feel actually a little bit more difference on the brakes the brakes do stop a little bit better um they're more firm and everything on the pedal so i'll say yeah we just does make a difference but it's not that much of a difference it still feels like a little bit the same as if i just right like normally running red drums and then uh the forward pot wheel was in the front so yeah they feel the same but a little bit better but sorry that i couldn't film us or film me bleeding it but how I did bleed it was right here. The bottom method where you take a tube from Home Depot, plug it into the valve, and then uh, you just keep pumping and then make sure the tube is at the very bottom of the bottle so it doesn't suck any more air back in to the lines. And that's how I did it. When you're bleeding the brakes, don't push the pedal in all the way. Just do like halfway or in order to be safe, just put a piece of wood under the pedal and then it'll stop it from sucking in more air back into the system. And that is how I bled the brakes. And the lines, just, yeah, the lines are the same as the back for the fronts. <sighs> but yeah, if you have any more questions, let me know. 
I just ordered a bunch more parts so that will probably be in the next video when the parts arrive and I think this video is going to be released on Christmas maybe so Merry Christmas everybody and hopefully you guys enjoyed don't listen to others just keep building